Hey everyone, how y'all doing? So, I got three new case knives right here. I just got, they were just delivered by Amazon. And I ordered these off Amazon for a particular reason. But, yeah. Three knives. I haven't opened the boxes or anything yet. But, to give a little backstory on, well, one thing why I have three new case knives. Um week or so ago, I ordered this Trapper from Amazon, yellow synthetic handle, covers. Um, this was listed as chrome vanadium, CV steel, turns out to be CS carbon steel. Um, I don't know if you can see right there, but yeah, I wanted... The yellow handle, CV steel, you know, the classic original steel. Um, but I'm like, okay, at least, you know, they sent me carbon steel instead of stainless steel. So I dealt with this one. Well, I ordered another one from Knife Center. And let me tell you, Knife Center is on the ball with their shipping, super fast shipping. And I got it. It was a um, dark red bone trapper. Supposed to be CV. That's what their listing said. And again, it was carbon steel. Okay. But there was issues with the knife. The action, you know, there was no... The pole was really weak and all that. I, I did a video. It'll be up. Before this one or right after this one. But yeah, I sent it back. I emailed Knife Center. Said da 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 da. You know, all the issues. And I got a reply within two hours. And they explained to me that Case is doing away using the chrome vanadium. And they're going to the carbon steel. Right? So... That's what's going on. Case is doing away with chrome vanadium. Going to carbon steel. Basically across the board. Which brings me to these. I was looking around. Trying to find one that was chrome vanadium. I was going to get into a trapper. Then I decided I'm going to get these three knives. Three different knives. And maybe one of them would be chrome vanadium. And one of them is. So I'm happy for that. I finally have at least one chrome vanadium. And these two. So let's look at these. See how the quality is. You know, fit and finish and everything. Um, yeah, this one. Yellow Synthetic Smooth Mini Trapper 3207CS. Move these out of the way for now. So, let's see, let's check this one out, the Mini Trapper. And again, I got yellow synthetic to go match this one because I don't, I don't have a Mini. And yeah, it's, it's a lot smaller. Um, centering on this, not good. A little worse than the big one. I like that blade. Um, yeah, that's that's probably rubbing. I don't know, but good pull on that blade. Decent pull on a spade blade. You know, you're down on the end further, so it's easier. Half stop. On a, on a mini and yeah that, that's got good spring retention good snap a lot better than the other one I, I had um, nice nice yeah so blade centering's off let's check the back spring um, kind of hard Got a heck of reflection. 
I do not see maybe a little gap between the liner and the spring. I don't know. I can't tell you. Yeah. Little little gap right here. Not not too bad. It's about the same as on this one. The hit the covers to the bolsters are nice. The pins are flush. Get the shields flush. Feels really nice. Um, yeah, blade centering's off. Now these are all going to be users. I'm not. These ain't no. No safe queens. Um, the yellow synthetic candles are, you know, cheaper on a cheaper budget side of case. I just wish I wish the blade centering was a little better, but I think I can deal with that. So put them put that up there. Let's move on to this one. This is a yellow synthetic smooth slimline trapper. 31048CS. So another carbon steel. And yeah, you you get the the booklet and the stay sharp collectors club thing in the boxes. But let's check this out. This definitely just an unboxing and quick look at them. And yeah, that's cool. The slimline trapper centering on that is dead center almost. Um, not bad. Again, looks like there's a gap between the spring and the brass liner up along that side. Not not as bad as. Not as much as this one, and that's not even bad. Um, check the pull. That's got a good pull. I don't know, I'd say that's five and a half, maybe. Okay, no half stop on the slim line. Yeah. Boy. Good snap. I'm liking this one. Again, the the pin right here doesn't stick out, but kind of kind of sunk in, so you can kind of like feel the hole. Um, these ones are flush. That's flush. That one's flush there. This one, I guess it's pretty much flush. The shield is nice and flush. Looks pretty clean. Boy. I'm liking. I'm liking this one. And this is 31046, right? 48 CS. Case XX. Yeah. I'm happy. I'm totally happy with this one. Um, now this one is obviously larger, <laughs> and it's chrome vanadium. Do they have dates? So the Slimline Trapper was made 11 8 22. The Mini Trapper was 1 11 23. This one is the yellow synthetic smooth sod buster 3138 CV and it was made 10 10 22. So let's check this one out. Larger knife. Throw that over there. I'm not so far not disappointed. Um, centering on this is off a little bit. It's over to the side um but yeah from the videos i watched last side busters are that way uh, i don't do not think it's rubbing and 
might be right in here but the tip's not rubbing and you can see a gap up through there so um back spring a little gap not bad right up along here so between the spring and the liner so opposite of the trappers pull on this pretty good I'd give it a five and a half six maybe no half stop yeah snaps in place pretty strong back spring um but pretty large knife look it doesn't even fit on on the screen that way um but yeah again yellow synthetic nice and smooth there on that pin that's right on the contour so that's nice pivot Smooth, smooth. Yeah. A little bit of gap. Um, very minor. Back here, you can, you can see it a little better back here. I'm not going to worry about that, but yeah. Nice, nice handle. Comfortable. Um, contoured on the edges, nice, no sharp anything, and this is the CV steel right there, USA 3138 CV, so I finally got a CV blade. Now, the edges, I guess it's normal for Case to have this, you got a good burr on one side, I didn't check the edges on the other ones. Um, I don't have a paper. Let me, we'll try a index card. That'll show. Yeah, it's pretty rough. I'll have to hone and strap it. You can see that's pretty rough. You can see this paper stuck to the edge. But I guess from what I've researched, that's the way case knives are. If you go on YouTube, case actually has a video. Um, it's like a tour of the plant, and they show them sharpening it. They literally just put it on a, a belt sander. Go zzz, zzz. And that's about it. Um, feels sharp, but it's also got a heck of a burr. So, yeah, that one's okay. This guy, let's feel the edge. The edge feels a lot better. I don't, hard, I don't feel a burr. Yeah, see, that's a lot cleaner cut. Still needs to be touched up a little bit, so I'll do that. Check the clip blade on the mini trapper. I like the mini trapper. Not too bad. It's That needs a little TLC also. I don't care. I can do that. If you saw the video, I did the video how I tuned this up from Erica ZDC. She did a video of three steps you need to do to a new case knife. I did it. It does wonders. Yeah, see that's it's a pretty rough cut. Um, I did not check for a burr. Yeah, I think it was on that side. Yep, I might have knocked some of it off, actually, on the paper. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. 
I wish the centering was better on this one. But like I said, these are going to be users. Centering on that sucks. Um, but I don't, I don't see. It's not hitting, not hitting, not hitting. It's not, it's not rubbing. So yeah, nice work knife. Can't wait to use it. Yeah, so guess that'll do it for this video. Unboxing video. Real quick look at them. Um, the Side Buster, Slimline Trapper, the Mini Trapper, and the Full Size Trapper I, I already had. But yeah, guess that'll do it. Definitely, you're going to see more videos on these. Um, after I tune them up, maybe I'll come back and compare it to that. But yeah, do the usual like, comment, subscribe. And until the next video, bye.